Hi guys, it's Barnaby Slater here once again for Spurred On. I'm here with Reese James and Craig Mitch, and this is the 8-bit debate. Things have changed a little with our debates. This is what's going to happen. I'm going to open out a topic to Reese and Mitch. One of them will be for, one of them will be against. They have to find their way to eight points by making statements, giving opinions that I feel are worth a point each time. The first person to get to eight points will win the debate and then you can let us know if you agreed in the comments section below. So let's get started with the first ever 8-bit debate and here is the question. Should Daniel Levy have sacked Harry Redknapp as Spurs manager? Going with yes he should have this week is Rhys James and going with no he shouldn't have and Harry Redknapp should still be our manager is Craig Mitch. I'm going to open it up to Rhys James. Why was Levy right to sack Redknapp? Loads of reasons. Thank you for the debate. <laughs> no, he was right to sack Redknapp for loads of reasons. Because Redknapp is unprofessional. First of all, he lost us a 10-point lead over Arsenal by courting for the England job extremely publicly, which is incredibly unprofessional. You can't do that if you've got a job. You can't say, oh, I'm working at McDonald's right now. One but point. hey, I want to work in Burger King. You can't do that. Okay, so thank you. One point. <laughs> also, uh, he lost those 10 points while he was in court with his fraud stuff, we want a professional manager who's not going to be messing up things with the legal system. But hold on, do we not focus. want a manager who has a real life as well? You know, he has other things on yeah, his mind. Yeah, I want him to have a real life within the boundaries of British legislation. Thank you very much. Craig, surely you disagree. The yeah, 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 yeah. To do with it. I mean, look, at the end of the day, the guy had heart problems. Remember, he had a heart surgery. Exactly. Things happen in life. He's Another aging. Point for me. No, but that isn't a point for you because we all go through health things. Is that his fault? No. And on top of that, that season, he still got us fourth. If we couldn't, you know, foresee that One Chelsea point. were going to win the Champions League against Bayern Munich in their own back garden in the final. Come on. Uh, but we could foresee that Chelsea was still in the competition, so they did always have that chance. With Di Matteo as their manager. Whereas if we came third, we definitely had Champions League and we had the 10-point league to get third. Had we ever been third before? It. Had we ever been third before? No. Unbelievable. We'd been fourth the season before, we got fourth again. That is, you know, a Champions League qualification place. And unfortunately, because the Premier League changed the rule and they've changed it and they've changed it back, we didn't get a Champions League spot because they won it. That is no longer the rule now because it was such a harsh thing for us to deal with that as Spurs point, fans. That's just Spursiness. Yeah, that's you know, Spursy. it's just it was just not right. Harry Redknapp should still be our manager for that reason. I mean, usually managers get sacked when they underachieve. You know, that's why a manager gets sacked. If you look over the years, all of our managers have done poor. Ramos, you know, his predecessor, got sacked because we were bottom of the league. And then we sacked Harry Redknapp for finishing fourth. It doesn't make any sense. What about his temper? He's got a bit of a temper. Consistent temper, a bit, very a bit. unprofessional. Team got one. extremely angry when David Bentley poured ice on him, despite when we got the Champions League, uh. despite pretending he was cool with it. Got very angry when the football was kicked at him, couldn't handle it, and dropped people to the bench because of it. And he got extremely angry when I think Jeff Shreves called him a wheeler dealer, and he said, not a wheeler dealer, I'm a football manager. No, you're not, mate. We all know you're a wheeler dealer. He's not a wheeler it's dealer. It's unprofessional. It's unprofessional to call Reece, someone a wheeler dealer. So, Reese, are you asking for a point because you think that unprofessionalism made Daniel Levy think we need someone with a better face at the top of the club for the public face of the club. Yeah, we don't want to be okay, a laughing stock. You, can have a point for you a gave him a point for that. We don't want to be a laughing stock. We want to be taken seriously as ah, a big club. That's so we don't want to be a laughing stock. That's why we sacked Harry Redknapp and brought in AVB. That makes sense, doesn't it? You know, oh, we, okay, wait, no, we bring, we bring in, we bring in someone. No point am I defending AVB. We bring in a 25 year old who has hardly any manager. experience. He got sacked by Chelsea for doing absolutely nothing. Look, I mean, what, what was his biggest achievement when the league was Porto? So. I am not saying AVB was the solution, but Pochettino is a better alternative. And if we still had Harry Redknapp, we would not have Pochettino. Point Pochettino's Reece, got some Reece, stability, Poch. he's a good manager to have. Poch, good guy, and he's doing good things. We're making progress with a young team. Tell you what we'd have if we had Harry Redknapp. Our what? first team would be Peter Crouch, uh, Nico Cranshaw, who must have naked pictures of Harry Redknapp on his phone to get signed constantly, <laughs> Jermaine Defoe, yeah. and all those sorts of people. The only reason they were good signings at the time when he yeah. brought back Defoe and Crouch and all those sorts of people is because they were young at the time. Now, everywhere he goes, Harry Redknapp signs the same players yeah. every single time. To say, he's a one-track mind, he's a one-trick pony, and that trick is called Jermaine. I have to say, it's a point for Reese based on the idea in my mind and the vision that I have 
of Nico Crenshaw having naked pictures of Harry Redknapp Thank on you. his phone. Wow, okay, that is just absolutely ridiculous, That's first of all. Enough. And second of all, Harry Redknapp is English. Now, I don't want to go down a whole UKIP type route, okay? But it's good to have an English manager Point for Mitch being who anti knows. Anti UKIP. Yeah, yeah. Who knows the how, Premier League. How dare hold you? on, hold on. Oh, who knows I hate the, the BNP. One point. point. For Reece, well done. <laughs> who knows the Five Premier more. League, who is from London himself. He knows the tradition of a club like Tottenham London. Hotspur. And he can communicate with the players properly. Pochettino needs a translator. I don't know how effectively you're going to get your point across when was the with last having time? a translator right. Mike, there on the hold field. On, hold on, point for uh, Reese for Mitch not being able to say Pochettino correctly. <laughs> uh, right, when was the last time an, England, an English manager did anything good? Jose Mourinho, not English. Sir Alex Ferguson, yeah. not English. Why do we necessarily need an English manager? What's Redknapp was the last time an English manager did good. He got us fourth two years in a row. That's, that's my that's whole point. point. How is that not That is how my is whole point. He won the FA Cup with Portsmouth on, even. He answered your question succinctly. You asked when was the last time an English manager did well. He said, Harry Redknapp, that's a point for Mitch. He did. He got a 70 point in enough. his first season. Phenomenal. I mean, when he took over, we were bottom of the league. He won like 10 points out of a possible 12 straight away. And the only two points we dropped is because we drew 4-4 with Arsenal at the Emirates. That's phenomenal. What about, what about? He got the best out of Aaron Lennon. never used to get those kind of results. No, that's, that's fair said. enough. I'll, ex yeah. I'll accept the point there. Match point, Mitch. Uh, You've got to do something good here. What about that time when all we needed to shore it up and to definitely get Champions League 100% and even finish third because yeah. we needed a striker and we needed a centre back. Okay. And who did he sign? He signed Luis Saha and he signed Ryan Nelson. Oh, Ryan yeah, Nelson. That is a point. Ryan I mean, Nelson. perennial flop, Seven Ryan all. Nelson. Saha was proven, to be fair. He was a bit injury prone, but he was proven. And we just signed him from January to the end of the season. He thought he could come in, do a bit of a job, score a couple goals. It was unfortunate, but you've got to remember, he brought in players like Peter Crouch. You know, players that scored a lot. He did a couple oh, players that got sent off in the Champions League. Yeah, so what? It happens, you know. He and still scored a lot of goals for us. His, game his partnership with, with Van der Vaart was phenomenal. You have to admit, he did a lot with Van der Vaart. Yeah, Van der Vaart was a lot a good of goals. Player, but that's not down to Harry Redknapp. That's down to the players themselves. Oh, He had a great squad to deal with. So then why didn't they... Hold on, stop. Do not move your pen. Hold I've got on. one more point. So why didn't they perform under AVB then? I'll give Reese one more point, but he's in trouble here. You're, you're in trouble. It's got to be good. Tim Sherwood. Harry Redknapp is responsible for the atrocity that is Hold on. Tim Sherwood. Wait there, wait there. Tim wait Sherwood, there. yes, did well with the youth team, but I think we can all unanimously agree no. that overall Tim Sherwood turned out to be a villain and a negative. Tim Sherwood is responsible Guna, for the Tim likes Sherwood. of Harry Kane. Yeah, Nabil Bentaleb. What, natural talent? No, he oh, developed them and broke them nurtured. through. Okay, guys, it's over. I can tell you it's over. The points have been made. It was seven all when the last point was made. And I have to say that that point went to Craig Mitch. Yeah. Winner, Craig Mitch. Unbelievable. Get me my belt, get me my belt. Craig Mitch has- You guys are living given, in the past. He has given the point- Move on. Fairly that Harry Redknapp should not have been sold, uh, sacked, sorry, by Daniel Levy. And I'll tell you the point that made it when he said that Van der Vaart and Crouch played brilliantly together and Reese could only come back with, that's because they're natural players. He bought those players for the club. Daniel Levy came up to Harry Redknapp, one transfer deadline, and said, do you want a present? It's Raphael van der Vaart, and he said yes. He could have said no. He said, he yes, said yes, that's it. It's Daniel he Levy. Wants a present. Levy yeah. was the and guy. For that, Craig Mitch, give me your arm. Oh, you look at that. Today. Where Guys, is my belt? let us know what you think of the debate and their thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Follow us on Twitter, at Spurred on TV, and we'll be back next week for another 8-bit debate if Reese is still with us. Be truly honest with ourselves and with you and ask ourselves, do we really hate Arsenal?